He is known for being an Austrian occultist, social reformer, architect, esotericist, and claimed clairvoyant. He is recognized for his synthesis of science and spirituality in his philosophical work, which he termed, spiritual science. His name is Rudolf Steiner. Rudolf Steiner, a man of many talents and controversial ideas, emerged in the late 19th century as a literary critic and philosopher. His early works, including, The Philosophy of Freedom, explored the intersection of science and spirituality. Steiner sought to apply the clarity of Western thought to the mystical realm, pioneering a concept he called, spiritual science. Although his ideas veered into pseudoscience and pseudo-history, he left an indelible mark on the world of philosophy. In the second phase of his career, around 1907, Rudolf Steiner delved into various artistic mediums, including drama, dance, and architecture. His collaborative efforts resulted in the creation of the Gotheanum, a cultural center that aimed to house all forms of art. Steiner believed that art could serve as a gateway to spiritual experiences and advocated for the integration of creativity and spirituality. After World War I, Steiner shifted his focus to practical applications of his ideas. He championed ethical individualism and emphasized the limitless potential of human knowledge. Drawing on the worldview of Johann Wolfgang Goethe, he asserted that thinking itself was a form of perception, on par with sight and sound. Though his theories were met with skepticism and controversy, Rudolf Steiner's multifaceted contributions endure. His philosophies and teachings have influenced fields such as education, agriculture, and medicine. Steiner's legacy sparks ongoing debates, challenging individuals to question the boundaries of human understanding. Rudolf Steiner's early life was filled with unexpected twists and turns. Born to Johann Steiner and Franziska Bly, his father left his job as a gamekeeper to marry Franziska, causing a rift with the Count who had refused permission. The family moved frequently, from Mura Kyrily to Modling and finally to Potschak in Lower Austria, where Rudolf spent his formative years in the foothills of the Eastern Austrian Alps. Education was not without its challenges for young Rudolf. After a disagreement between his father and the schoolmaster, he was briefly educated at home. However, when he was eight years old, the family settled in the village of Nudorfel, and Rudolf began attending the local school. Eventually, he transitioned to the real school in Wiener Neustadt in October 1872, taking another step towards his academic journey. In 1879, the Steiner family relocated once again, this time to Inzersdorf, to provide Rudolf with the opportunity to attend the renowned Vienna Institute of Technology. With an academic scholarship, Rudolf delved into an array of subjects, including mathematics, physics, chemistry, botany, zoology, and mineralogy. His thirst for knowledge extended even further, with Rudolf auditing courses in literature and philosophy. But before his time at the Vienna Institute of Technology, Rudolf had already embarked on a deep study of influential philosophers. He had explored the works of renowned thinkers such as Kant, Fichte, and Schelling, laying the foundation for his own philosophical development. Rudolf Steiner, a philosopher and spiritual thinker, had early spiritual experiences that shaped his understanding of the world. One such experience occurred when he was just a nine-year-old boy. One day, Steiner believed he saw the spirit of his deceased aunt, who had passed away in a distant town. She appeared before him, asking for his help, even though neither he nor his family were aware of her passing at the time. This encounter left a lasting impression on young Steiner. It sparked within him the belief that one must carry knowledge of the spiritual world within themselves, much like the principles of geometry. He believed that the mind had the power to experience things that couldn't be seen with the naked eye. Through this realization, Steiner found justification for the existence of the spiritual world. He even validated his experiences through the study of geometry, reaffirming his conviction to speak of a world that is unseen. Steiner's spiritual journey continued to unfold as he grew older. At the age of 15, he claimed to have gained a complete understanding of time, which he believed was a prerequisite for spiritual clairvoyance. This understanding further deepened his connection to the spiritual realm. One particular encounter on a train journey between his village and Vienna would leave a profound impact on him. Steiner met a man named Felix Kagutsky, an herb gatherer who spoke about the spiritual world as one who had his own experience therein. This encounter solidified Steiner's belief in the existence of the spiritual world and reinforced his commitment to exploring and understanding it further. Rudolf Steiner, a writer and philosopher known for his contributions to Rudolf Steiner's philosophy, embarked on a transformative journey that would shape his beliefs and teachings. In 1888, Steiner received an invitation to work as an editor at the Goethe Archives in Weimar, a position that proved to be monotonous and poorly paid. However, it was during this time that Steiner immersed himself in the works of Goethe and wrote extensively about his philosophy. 
During his tenure at the Goethe Archives, Steiner authored two influential books on Goethe's philosophy. The theory of knowledge implicit in Goethe's world conception served as the epistemological foundation for Steiner's future work, while Goethe's conception of the world further deepened his understanding of Goethe's beliefs. Steiner's dedication to these writings reflected his fervent desire to uncover the essence of human knowledge and its connection to the world. In 1894, Steiner published Die Philosophie der Freiheit, a groundbreaking exploration of epistemology in ethics. This work proposed a path for individuals to attain spiritual freedom, challenging conventional notions of existence and morality. Steiner considered this book to contain the essence of what he would later develop explicitly as anthroposophy, a transformative philosophy that emphasized the spiritual nature of human beings and their interconnectedness with the world. One of the pivotal moments in Steiner's life occurred when he declined an offer from Elisabeth Forster Nietzsche, the sister of Friedrich Nietzsche, to help organize the Nietzsche archive in Naumburg. Witnessing Friedrich Nietzsche's deteriorating mental state deeply moved Steiner, prompting him to write the book, Friedrich Nietzsche, Fighter for Freedom. In this work, he explored Nietzsche's philosophical ideas and celebrated his fight against societal constraints and repression. Steiner's relentless pursuit of philosophical truths often placed him at odds with contemporary intellectuals. As editor for the literary journal magazine Fur Literator, he fearlessly expressed his support for controversial figures like Emil Zola during the Dreyfus Affair. However, these views strained his relationship with subscribers, ultimately leading to his departure from the magazine. Despite the challenges, Steiner remained devoted to his mission of sharing his philosophical insights with an open-minded audience. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.